And I suppose today, uh, following on today, is the centenary, the 28th of August uh, 2016, is our day of celebrating the centenary of 1916. Uh, as you can see, we are at the final preparations. We have our flagpoles, we have our three flags, we have the commemorative stone, and um, we have the proclamation. So we are expecting, uh, the kickoff is at um, 6 o'clock, with the local GA club um, uh, marching from the old stage back at, uh, at the old bridge and they'll arrive approximately 6, uh, 6.30. With that they'll have the Cumberland flag and the local Belly Sagat GA flag, the local colours, and they'll be mounted on the entrance to the community centre here on either pole. Hello, I'm Kate Neela Foster, Good evening, Sarat. Welcome here to our centenary celebration of the rising Irie Mac 1916. We're currently seated in the original schoolroom of Ballysaggart, built in 1865. Ballysaggart is a wonderful place to grow up. It's got lots of history. We're still making history. And God willing, we will continue to make history. It hasn't changed much. Since 1916, there's a few changes, a few ditches missing, a few new houses. Most of the names are still the same. The odd name has disappeared there, uh, just a few, but mainly we're all still here. You can't put down a good thing. I hope you have enjoyed what I've had to say, and for while I'm the Brinch of Tanev, us and Clar on Shop in Love. So on. As chairman of Belly Sagar Community Development Company, I welcome everyone to the official opening of the Little Grove, which is our community 1916 Garden of Remembrance, where we will commemorate the 1916 leaders of the Easter Rising, but in particular the seven leaders who signed the proclamation of Ireland's independence. This is a special occasion, particularly as the project involved participation from all parts of the Belly Sagat community. And we wish to thank everyone for their generous participation. We sincerely thank Declan Greehy for dedicating this plot of ground to the development, to develop a commemoration garden. The project was carried out in conjunction with Waterford City and County Council, and we thank them for their support. the old tradition of nationhood. Ireland through us summons her children to her flag and strikes for her freedom. Having organized and trained her manhood through her secret revolutionary organization, the Irish Republican Brotherhood, and through her open military organization, the Irish Shine through the foggy dew. I now call for the raising of the national flag by Dan Maher, our local and serving member of the Irish Defence Forces. <laughs> And 
Now, I'm now calling Anne Carey uh, to sing the national anthem. Chena, Chena, trees is to have impact. It was, that was important. It was impact. A lot of work went into planting them, caring them, watering them. They have been watered every week since they were planted. The idea then was to plant a green area, a footfall to create a grove. Now it's not finished yet, but the plan is to plant bluebells on the floor of the grove. The perimeter of the grove around by the road boundary is holly, evergreen holly. We wanted a contrast. Inside that then, it's bounded by a red sandstone gravel path. Their song and dance from local musicians and crack or skull and refreshments in, in the community centre here which will be laid on uh, this evening and the party will go on till hopefully midnight and uh, that is this this will be an annual event and it's there now forevermore the leaders grove for the younger generation coming up and uh, it's done it's a heart of the community and going forward that our big project is behind me this will be our next big project and it will turn out as the Leaders Grove has turned out all for the community. And by the way, it's all voluntary. All this, these works that have been done today from the village to the Leaders Grove is all done voluntary, including machine men with JCBs, HIMAX, 
all voluntary. And I can tell you, as chairman of the, the, the community development company myself, I'm absolutely proud and privileged to be here today and being MC tonight for the centenary. And uh, I'm looking forward to it.